Welcome to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm in downtown Myrtle Beach in what's known as the Boardwalk area. This is Tourism Central, a hub of amazing attractions, restaurants, resorts, and beach access. This is what is often thought of as Myrtle Beach, but when we talk about Myrtle Beach, we're talking about the beautiful 60-mile coastline from the North Carolina border all the way down to Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Popularly known as the Grand Strand, the region includes 60 miles of wide sandy beaches and 14 communities, some of them inland, and each with their own history, vibe, and attractions. One of the advantages of hosting a meeting in the Myrtle Beach area is the attractive array of excellent lodging options available to groups. The Grand Strand boasts more than 158,000 accommodation rooms, including resort and hotel rooms, condos, beach cottages, golf villas, and more. The majority of hotels are located on the oceanfront or with oceanfront views, and most are located within one mile of our GBAC accredited convention center. More on that later. Few destinations offer such a wide variety of entertainment, amusements, and attractions. From the Sky Wheel to water parks, amusement parks, go-kart tracks, water sports, museums, seven live theaters, and so much more, there's never a dull moment in Myrtle Beach, rain or shine. Here in the Grand Strand, you'll also find a variety of off-the-beaten-path activities. There is much to discover and explore in the Myrtle Beach area's great outdoors. We have plenty of options for soft eco adventures and team building exercises. From kayaking tours to parasailing, jet skiing, zip lining, cruising, paddle boarding, and so much more, the opportunities are endless. The Grand Strand has two oceanfront state parks with camping, eco tours, interpretive centers, and guides. The incredible salt marshes in our region are home to a plethora of wildlife and more than 300 species of birds are known to stop there throughout the year. Many people find pleasure in exploring the destination's landscape and learning about the Myrtle Beach area's history and culture. Among the fascinating places to explore is the world-renowned Brook Green Gardens, a 9,000-acre sculpture and botanical garden. Brook Green is home to more than 14,000 works by 300 of the greatest names in American sculpture, past and present. Ah, oh, but there's so much more! The Grand Strand is home to world-class year-round golf with more than 90 courses of varying difficulty. We were recently recognized by Golf Week for having more ranked golf courses than any other U.S. destination. And we are, of course, the mini-golf capital of the world. With more than 35 mini-golf courses, most with extravagant layouts and themes, there's always an opportunity for a hole-in-one. Our culinary scene has truly evolved in the past couple decades, due in part to the expansion of the International Culinary Institute of Myrtle Beach at Ori Georgetown Technical College. Their culinary and pastry arts graduates go on to careers at our more than 1,800 restaurants, and their influence has made quite an impact. The Culinary Institute offers courses for locals and tourists, and they also offer interactive group classes. The Myrtle Beach culinary scene is vast and varied, from pizza and burgers to delicious buffets to high-end surf and turf. Our seafood is fresh and usually locally sourced. Myrtle's Inlet in the South Strand is known as the seafood capital of South Carolina. With our great weather, outdoor dining is common, and of course, you can't beat our southern hospitality. Beyond the beach and golf, the destination's biggest draw is its plethora of entertainment options. This is great news for meeting planners who know that after-hours activities are nearly as important as the meetings themselves. And you also can't beat the Grand Strand for entertaining nightlife. With several breweries, a distillery, wine tasting, and live music at more bars and restaurants than I can count, visitors are assured a great time after sundown. For shoppers, we have major shopping and entertainment complexes such as the Market Common, Barefoot Landing in North Myrtle Beach, and one of South Carolina's biggest attractions, Broadway at the Beach. We also have two Tanger outlets, several beach shops, and unique local boutiques in our 14 communities. Myrtle Beach has traditionally been a drive-to destination, but now, with nine airlines and dozens of nonstop flights all over the U.S., it is easier than ever to land at the beach and let the fun begin. 
our GBAC accredited airport, recently named Best Small Airport in USA Today's 10 Best Reader's Choice Awards, is efficient, modern, and right in Myrtle Beach. Remember that traveling to meetings and conventions these days requires some extra planning with a mind for cleanliness and safety. Find our Groups Recovery Toolkit and more information at visitmyrtlebeach.com. And then you'll want to call Lori Lampo or Cindy Moore with the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce. They can tell you more about all the Grand Strand has to offer and help you plan a meeting or conference that meets all of your group's needs. Now let's head to the Myrtle Beach Convention Center and see what's going on at one of the East Coast premier meeting facilities. At over 250,000 square feet, the Myrtle Beach Convention Center is one of the largest meeting spaces in the Southeast. The Convention Center features over 100,000 square feet of column-free exhibit space, 17 meeting rooms, a 17,000 square foot grand ballroom, a 30,000 square foot events plaza, custom catering, and so much more. Located in the heart of Myrtle Beach, just minutes from the airport and close to beaches and resorts, the versatile Myrtle Beach Convention Center is the perfect venue for an unforgettable event. Let's talk with Brian Monroe, General Manager of the Myrtle Beach Convention Center, to see what steps they're taking to keep the facility sanitized and keep people feeling comfortable. First of all, congratulations are in order, Brian, because the Convention Center has earned the Global BioRisk Advisory Council accreditation, which is the gold standard for the industry. Tell me what it took to get that honor. Thanks, Julie. It took a lot of work on behalf of our team to come together. We met weekly for about six weeks. We documented all of our protocols the way that we sanitize and clean the building, the different steps that we take. We submitted that information to the GBAC group and then they approved us. And then we put all the practices into order. That's great. Now, what are some things people can expect when they're in the facility as far as sanitation guidelines go? We sanitize the building thoroughly before the event begins. We sanitize the space that was used by the customer every day, usually at night after the event concludes. If the customer would like, we'll sanitize during the day. Um, restrooms are sanitized during the day, all day long. Also, um, attendance, uh, a lot of times, the people who are coming into the facility, they'll have their temperature checked. We have two temperature checking machines. Um, we also have an audio recording that plays every seven minutes or when the customer wants to hear it, depending on their priorities, that reminds people to social distance. Mm -hmm. And what about your employees? What steps are you taking to keep them safe? Our employees are kept safe. First of all, we try to um, limit interaction with the public as, as much as possible. Um, when they arrive at work in the morning, their temperature is checked. When they depart, their temperature is checked. Um, they wear gloves. Now, what are you offering as far as meeting room setup to make people feel comfortable while they're here attending an event? Well, I think it's important to understand that with each client that we work with, we listen to their needs and wants, um, but certainly we can set the room as socially distanced as they would like. We have set meetings where people are six feet apart. We've set uh, meetings where people are 10 feet apart. So it just depends what they're comfortable with and we can adjust. Of course, all of that will determine how many people can be in a particular meeting room or a ballroom. We have done banquet style events where there's only four people at a banquet table um, and then the banquet tables are, are set farther apart. We try to understand what the client's goals and objectives are and what their attendees will feel safe and comfortable with. Under the current conditions, what kind of food preparation services are you offering? Well, of course, our, our food prepares um, by our exclusive caterer, the Sheraton Myrtle Beach, wear gloves and mask. Their temperature is also checked when they uh, arrive for work. Um, meals are delivered to the table, covered. A lot of prepackaged uh, meals that don't have to, you know, have a lot of human interaction with them are served. And also in our concession areas in the exhibit hall, we offer a lot of prepackaged foods. Brian, it certainly sounds like you've put a lot of preparation and planning into hosting safe events here at the Convention Center. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you, Julie. And we look forward to seeing you 
and your friends at the next event you attend at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. Myrtle Beach is ready to meet when you're ready to meet again. Your meeting belongs at the beach.